So we are here, and it's really my honor to um, get to spend a few minutes with our uh, new American Canyon High School principal, Ms. Crystal Lopez, and it's such an honor to be with you. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. I'm really glad to be speaking with you this yeah. morning, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just thought if we could just take a few minutes to just, you know, get a, an inside peek to your vision mm -hmm. and where you are and, you know, where you see us going mm -hmm. uh, with your new administration. Um, would you mind sharing that with, with us a little bit? And I'll be able to share this and post this information out to the public. Absolutely. Um, so some of the things that we want to work on this year, um, our goal, we have some, some academic type of goals this year for the school um, that are, are around response to intervention and making sure that our students um, are really learning everything that they need to be learning to move on to the next level. So we, we'll be working with teachers on that. We'll be working also around um, our new district goal and our wellness policy and social emotional support for students. Mm. We are anticipated to have a wellness center built here this year, um, and hopefully that will be done in the spring, and that will include our counselors, our school nurse, uh, social worker, um, to try and have a lot of resources available on campus for students in need. So that's really exciting. We're going to be the first high school in the district to wow. have one of those. I believe a couple of the middle schools do yeah. um, as of now, so we're excited for that. Um, we also have a big push towards looking at our programming and looking at you know, inclusion of all students in all of our programs and access to all of our programs. So those are some of the, the big picture things we're going to work on this year, along with working with the community and community leadership to help integrate our students out into the community as well. Mm -hmm. um, there were some you were asking earlier about, you know, business support and things that we can do. We really want to, we have a, some classes that work with internships for our students, and we really want to find those in, internships and place students in um, businesses where there is the potential for a career where the right. students have interest. Right. Um, so those are some of the things that we want to connect with the broader community on as well. Because oh. um, I know it, some of the students have had a difficult time finding internships, and right. so we want to we help with that process right. too. So I'm wondering, do you, and, and this is kind of an early on process, mm -hmm. but is if there are interests um, you know, interested business communities or businesses right now that yes. who's watching this, mm -hmm. where and how or who would they contact at ACHS about more about the internship program? So to start, you can just contact me. My email is on the, on the website, and awesome. I will send that off to the appropriate assistant principal in charge of whichever program it fits. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to post your email address if you don't oh, mind. Good. Okay. The bottom, right. of, <laughs> bottom of the screen. Okay. 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 Very good. Um, now, I'm curious, I know that you uh, have, haven't been here that long, but just based on your time that you've started with us, and by the way, thank you for kicking off mm -hmm. such an awesome school year. You're awesome. welcome. Um, what do you think are the two or three top strengths that makes ACHS unique, and what are the strengths that you feel that we could continue to build on? Um, the biggest strength mm -hmm. it, so far is the community pride. Mm -hmm. um, and our diversity and there's there is so much community pride in this school and having built this school um, there is really something to be said for a one high school town it means a lot yeah. um, so the pride is there and everybody that you speak with is willing really really wants to make everything as successful as possible right from the teachers to the students to everyone on staff to mm -hmm. the parents that I've encountered um, and met with so far, everybody's really invested mm -hmm. in making sure that this space and this place for our kids mm -hmm. is the best that it can be. Mm -hmm. um, and I really appreciate that, and that is a big strength. And honestly, that's that's not at every school. And so wow. I, I, can really, I can really appreciate what that means for our students. Right, and yeah. you came from much larger schools yes. and small, you, you came from like a diverse mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, platform yeah. of different school sizes. Right. Exactly. So um, is there anything else that you feel that as a business community, so I represent mm -hmm. the business community, mm -hmm. right? Um, I live here, I work here, I have kids going to our yeah. schools here. Mm -hmm. So my heart's in all those different places, but what else do you think that us as business community can do to support and lift you know, mm -hmm. our ACHS in particular? Mm -hmm. So I think along with helping to you know connect students with interns, it could be even 
um, connecting students with mentors. If, if there's a business where you don't necessarily have the time or capacity to host a student, right. maybe you do have the time or capacity to host a student who's interested in that, in that career, in that business, mm -hmm. um, maybe you're willing to be a mentor to that student and mm -hmm. um, work with that student through maybe one of our clubs or some of our senior um, government econ classes. Mm. Those are good places to bring in those kinds of things and mm -hmm. work with some seniors and explore those kind of career things. So I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways um, to bring businesses in and also to bring students out into the community. And are you the portal? Mm -hmm. To the businesses to contact, like I don't want to bombard you with emails. And yes, stuff, but I mean, would for, you be the main person yes, right now? Yes, and I can make sure that that gets to Just whoever the appropriate people are okay. that are working with those students or those you know other certain programs that we have on campus. Okay. Yeah. Because I know also that some of the teachers independently kind of reach out to certain. Right. I right. I've, I've asked to guest speak at the leadership class mm -hmm. in various classes mm -hmm. and. I think that the business community need to know that you know if you have an expertise or you want to volunteer your time mm -hmm. to come in and share your insight like what you Absolutely. do in the career path that it mm -hmm. took for you um, there are a lot of classes that would love to have you in there but you know they're teachers and they're busy and they're not always going to be able to reach out so right. would they be able to just maybe yeah. send an email to you as well mm -hmm. on that Absolutely. and you can help mm -hmm. us direct them mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. awesome yeah um, is there any anything else parting words you'd like to leave for us to remember well I would just like to I would like to thank the community just the transition so far everybody's been so welcoming and awesome. making this very easy yeah. and smooth to come into we did have a big turnover of administration yes. and leadership this yes. year um, and we were a little nervous about that but everybody has been wonderful from the students to all the staff to all of the parents um, so I, I really appreciate the support that's been given to the school and the students. That's so awesome. Yeah. And, and we want to make sure that you feel welcomed and supported mm -hmm. and loved by the community because yes. we appreciate you. I do. Thank you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. So this is our ACHS principal, Ms. Crystal Lopez. This is Kasama Lee, community realtor, signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye.